Yo, what is up guys, it's Paul here, and in this video I'm going to talk about the uh, ranking changes that have happened about a month ago, but some people are still confused about what happened, so I'm just going to quickly go over what happened. So, basically, CSGO is ranked using an ELO system. Basically, what this means is that each player has a number, and depending on your wins and losses, this number goes up or down. If you win a game, uh, your ELO might go from 16,000 to 16,020. If you lose a game, your ELO might go from 16,000 to... 1580 and you know if you keep losing your number keeps going down and if you keep winning your um, Number goes up obviously if you're bottom fragging you will lose elo a lot faster than you would if you lost the game And you were the top fragger So yeah, basically what valve is doing is just assigning a range of elo to each rank So for example this single master guardian would be 1600 elo to 1700 elo Legendary Eagle would be 1700 ELO to 1800 ELO and Legendary Eagle Master would be 1800 ELO to 1900 ELO Now say a player had 1750 ELO, he would be put into the Legendary Eagle rank because he is in the bracket of 1700 ELO to 1800 ELO And what Valve has done is they have increased the amount of ELO that is needed for each rank so say before you could get Legendary Eagle Master with 1600 ELO, now you can get it with 1800. So basically these numbers have increased, which means that it is a lot harder to get the ranks. So the reason people are getting the rank now is because the requirement for the rank they were in is now higher. For example, before the patch, Legendary Eagle Master could have been like 1700 ELO and a player had 1750 ELO. After the patch, the requirement for Legendary Eagle Master could have went up to 1900 ELO. So even though the player loses only one game after a 5 win streak or something and goes up to 1790 ELO, he is put into a bracket with Legendary Eagle players because his ELO is now in the Legendary Eagle bracket, which could be 1700 to 1900 ELO and 1900 to 2100 for Legendary Eagle Master. So to summarize basically what Valve has done is increase the number required for each rank. And now the reason that they did this is to spread the number of players more evenly across each rank. So yeah, this is uh, the official statement that Valve has released on Reddit. Basically what they're saying is that there have been too many people reaching the higher ranks and there weren't a lot of players in the lower ranks. So what they're trying to do is you know, spread out the ranks more evenly so that the highest percentage of players is somewhere around the middle. Okay guys, so now I'm going to show you the screenshots of the amount of players in each rank of before the change and now after the change since the month has passed. So as you can see there are a lot more players in Silver 1 and Silver 2 and overall in the middle and there are a lot less players in the higher ranks which was the goal of Valve. So yeah, that is pretty much the end of this video. If this video was helpful, make sure you drop a like. If you disliked the video, make sure you drop a dislike. If you want to see more content from me, you can subscribe. And I will catch you guys next time.